Hey, it's Justin from Flipwise. I'm gonna walk you through how to add a sale manually to Flipwise when you sell something outside of eBay. So obviously when you sell something on eBay, Flipwise is gonna ingest that automatically, but what happens when you sell something outside of eBay, like on Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, or even your local flea market? I'm gonna walk you through how to add those sales to Flipwise. There's two ways you could do it. The first way is if the item that you sold has been previously listed on eBay. What you wanna do first is end that listing on eBay, and once you do, it will show up in Flipwise under your ended queue, just like this. And you can click into that product. So let's say that these pants were once listed on eBay. You can click into the view uh, to the product detail page here. And on the top right, you're gonna have your action button here on the timeline. There, you're gonna have a couple different options. One of those is mark as sold. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that up here and it's gonna ask you some information like where it's sold. And I'm gonna say Facebook Marketplace right there. Uh, the list date, it's going to take the, the original list date from eBay and pre-populate it there. So you can change it if you want to. Uh, then the sale date, so that's going to default to today. And the sale amount, let's say I sold these for $20 in cash. The quantity is one. <clears throat> and because it was Facebook Marketplace, there were no fees. And then you can select the fulfillment status. So not yet fulfilled or shipped or local pickup. If this was something that I shipped to someone, I could select shipped and it's going to ask the shipping cost so we can track that. Uh, or it's going to, uh, and also ask the tracking number. Or in this case, it was a local pickup, so I can select local pickup. If you're selling something on a marketplace that does have fees, you would want to put your own fees in there, by the way. But no fees for Facebook Marketplace. It was a local pickup, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. And you'll go ahead and see that order on the timeline there, and it's going to reflect uh, its original purchase price that you had had defined uh, earlier when you had it on, listed on eBay. And again, you can just see the, the whole history of this product from when you purchased it, listed on eBay, ended it on eBay, and then sold it on Facebook Marketplace. All of this data is editable from here as well. So if you need to change the sale price, for example, or the quantity or the fees or the fulfillment status, you can change all of that here uh, from the product detail page itself. You can also, another way to, to do this as well is if it's a multi-quantity order on eBay. And so let's say that you have a multi-quantity order. I'll go ahead and open up one here, or I'm sorry, multi-quantity listing. We'll bring that in here. You'll see here that I have seven uh, seven listed and seven purchased. This is actively listed on eBay right now. If I were to go and try to mark that as sold right here, it's going to tell me you can't because there's none available. They're all listed on eBay. So in order to be able to sell one off of eBay, you have to do one of two things. You either have to go over to eBay and reduce the quantity listing by one, and that will then show a quantity listed as six and, and a quantity unlisted as one, and it would allow you then to, or to sell that unlisted uh, unit. Uh, another way you could do it uh, is if you had an, an extra one that you didn't have before. You can change your quantity purchased, and that way that gives you a quantity listed on eBay of seven and a quantity unlisted of one, and then I would have the option to go and mark that as sold. Uh, so that's two ways that you can handle that there. We'll go ahead and switch that back. Uh, you can also delete an order. So we're going to go back to, oops, let's go back to the sold item here and find those pants. If I for some reason, I guess somebody returned these pants or something, you can delete the order there and it will just remove it from the timeline as well. So that's the first way to add a new sale is by selecting something that's been previously listed on eBay. The second way to do it is by adding a new product entirely. So let's say you sold something that was never listed on eBay. If you go to your sold queue here, you'll see a new button right up here in the top that says new off eBay sale. You can pop that up and it's going to ask you a bunch of information so that you can log this sale. Let's say that these are the 511 pants. Go ahead and put that there. We'll say I purchased them for $2. Uh, you can select a photo. I've already got one selected here. Purchase location, I don't know, we'll say I got them at a Salvation Army. Purchase date, it's going to default to not sure, but if you know the purchase date, you can go ahead and put that in there. I don't know the purchase date, so I'm going to keep it empty. Uh, we're going to say that we sold this one on Facebook Marketplace. The list date, again, it's uh, if you're not sure, it's going to default to that. If you do give it a list date, that'll allow you to calculate the time to sell. So if you give it a list date, it'll, it'll then show the time to sell, just like every one of them or every other uh, sold product in Flipwise. I don't know the list date, so I'm just going to keep it not sure. The sale date is today. 
uh, sold it for $20. There's a quantity of one. Again, no fees, but if this was selling on a platform that did have fees, I would go ahead and put those fees there. And the fulfillment status, again, I can update it directly from here. We're gonna select local pickup. I can either hit save, and that will take me back to that product itself uh, with the order associated with it, or I can hit save and add another. And that's uh, so you can quickly add multiple uh, orders at a time without having to go through this uh, click the new new off eBay sale button each time. But I only have one order now, so I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And we're gonna see this pop up right here with the picture. If you need to change the picture, you can do that here, replace the photo, delete the photo. You can also change the title here uh, if you need to. So uh, again, this is not listed on eBay, so it's not, not doing anything with eBay, it's just your local title for this product itself. And again, there it is on the timeline there. Uh, and you can do everything you need to do for that right there. So you can also manage your marketplaces. If you go on the left-hand side, you'll see a new option here called Marketplaces under Manage. You can go here. I only have one listed, but you can add new marketplaces here, or you can add new marketplaces as you're adding the products itself, just like storage locations and, and um, purchase locations. Uh, you'll notice that there's no delete button here. That's because there's an order associated with it. But if you unassociate uh, orders with marketplaces, you can then delete marketplaces. So you can't delete a marketplace if there's an order associated with it, but you can if uh, there are no orders associated with it. You can also change the name right here if you want to and add some notes. And finally, you can click into the orders right here and see all of the orders from that particular marketplace. You'll have that filter right there. That's about it. That's how you add new sales off of eBay.